I'm a theater tech and design major. I guess daily life is we kind of learn everything about theater. I had to take an acting class my freshman year, which was interesting. I think it helped a lot. How was that for you? That's, is that when you decided like, ah, oh, this is not for me, or you kind of just like, oh. that's what I knew that we had to take it coming into this major just because we're liberal arts versus like a conservatory, but it was weird, but I think it helped a lot with just like speaking in public in general, so I thought it was fine in the end. And my class was all tech majors, so it wasn't like we were competing against actors, so. wanting to stage manage and then I kind of learned everything throughout my freshman year and then spring semester as a freshman I like kind of dove into just stage managing but I wanted to learn everything at first. Which one was that My freshman year I did Cat in the Hat so that was my starting. <laughs> Drowsy Chaperone was a lot different for me at least. I joined Tech Weekend so basically my job was completely different than what I'm used to. I'm used to mainly stage managing. So, but my job was sound assistant. So I got to put microphones on people. And then eventually I ended up working with QLab, which is our sound effects uh, program. There we go. And basically I listen to the stage manager and she gives me a standby at a certain word. And then she says, go. So that was interesting. I haven't really done that before. <laughs> But it was fun, and that was basically tech weekend. We worked 10 out of 12 hours. We got two one-hour meal breaks, and we just queued. We did dress rehearsals. We did a sits pro where just, the orchestra just comes in and the actors sing, and it was fun. Do you know anything about Thomas version of orchestra and the sound? How to get the sound balance with the actors' microphones and stuff? Um. I don't know as much as our sound designer. I just know it's really difficult. Because <laughs> for Drowsy Chaperone, we had a much larger pit than we've had in the past. So we had to make a lot more instruments. And it's really hard to find that balance of where you... It depends on what the director wants for the orchestra. Like if they want it the same balance as the actors or just a little bit underneath. It kind of depends. So that's like what we have the sits pro for. We like balance everything out. So we have our lighting designer and he gives us a plot where we hang all the lights. And then during tech weekend, the director and the stage manager and the lighting designer all sit in and they go in and they queue. And usually the lighting designer has a specific feel of like what the show is and like what the director wants initially and then it changes throughout the process like if the designer wanted a blue light on a certain actor but like the director doesn't like it then obviously it'll change but it always starts with the lighting designer.